Hello everybody. So in this video I will make some graffiti carbonitrate material. This material I need to make because I will use it in my future projects. So the graffiti carbonitrate is really useful material for many many applications. Uh, fuel cells, hydrogen splitters and so on. You can also use this material in the batteries and even in some supercapacitors. In basic this material is really nice for many applications. So, like I said, I need this material for my future projects, that's why I will make one. To make some graffiti carbon nitrate is really easy process, because for the static material you can use some urea, and this urea you need to heat on 550 degrees C for 3 hours, and in the end you will get really nice uh, graffiti carbon nitrate powder. But in my case, I don't need some graffiti carbonitrate powder because I will not make some typical electrode with a graffiti carbonitrate content. So to make some typical electrode for, I don't know, batteries, fuel cells and so on, uh, you need some current collector. Uh, the graffiti carbonitrate is the active material and to this graffiti carbonitrate you also need to add some conductive material because the graffiti carbonitrate is not really conductive material that's why you need to support a graffiti carbonitrate with some conductive additive and for the conductive material you can use some carbon black or even some graphite it's depending on what device you will make uh, and in the end you also need some binder the binder which will hold all the powders together on this electrode but in my case i will not use some typical electrode because for my current collector i will use this carbon felt and i want to impregnate this carbon felt with graphitic carbon nitrate so this electrode will be without any binders or conductive additives so here in this beaker I have some urea and this urea I put on some hot plate. The temperature which I will use right now is 135 degrees C because I want that this urea will be melted. Now I reach the temperature of 135 degrees C and the urea is entirely melted. So into this melted urea I will put my carbon felt and I will soak this urea into this felt Basic, I will cut this carbon felt into two pieces. Okay, that's it. Now, here I have some another cup, and into this cup, I will fill the bottom with rare. Okay. So here I have my carbon felt, which is uh, soaked with uh, melted urea, and on the top. I will put some another carbon felt. Like so. And this cup I will fill with activated carbon. 
this activated karma will prevent that the graffiti karma felt I mean the graffiti karma nitrate will burn off so on the bottom I have some urea which is not melted yet then I have my uh, karma felt which is soaked with molten urea and on the top of this karma felt I put some another uh, karma felt and then I fill this cup with activated carbon. So this this activated carbon will prevent that uh, the graffiti carbon nitrate will not burn off. And now I will put this one into the kiln on 550 degrees C for three hours. And in the end, I get something like this impregnated carbon fiber with a graffiti carbon nitrate. So the graffiti carbon nitrate by itself is not conductive. That's why you need to add some conductive material to increase the conductivity of the graffiti carbon nitrate. But in my case, on this material, I don't need to add some conductive material because uh, the graffiti carbon nitrate is impregnated on this carbon fiber and I get quite nice conductivity of the material itself. And I get 10 ohms per, I don't know, 5 centimeters. So if you make the electrode like this, uh, you don't need to add some conductive materials. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.